In this video, we're going to look at schedules, how to build them and what they are used for. So starting from the home screen, go to your settings, come over to schedules, and we're going to take a look at one that's already built. So when you're building one, it's going to ask you to give it a name. Um, you can add a description if you'd like. Uh, the function. Um, typically, if you don't already have one built, um, you can actually build one at this time. It would actually take you into the Deluge uh, editor and you would be able to put it together. We'll look at that in just a moment. Um, this, you can set the start date and time. You can set the frequency. Do I want it every day? Do I just want it once? Do I want it hourly? You have um, various options, which is really cool. Um, and then you can have where it's just always going to run until you get to the point where you don't need it anymore, or you need to make changes, um, or you can do custom, um, times as well. Um, so looking at it, this is the function. And this function basically is um, looking at account records and looking for a specific type. Um, the account type has to equal this. And so it's going to go grab those records. And then from there, it's going to loop through, grab the contact records. And based on whether or not the tips preference is Zoho, then we're going to go ahead and do some action. We're going to make it, it's a counter. We're going to count how many of those contacts. Um, have this set and then we go in and do some more search and so this is something that was put together um, because of the number of sizes that Zoho allows you're only allowed to get 200 records at a time and so that's why the code is basically repeated and it starts at a new starting point each time um, which is pages. And so I know from prior to building this, looking um, for the criteria, we roughly had just under 800 records that we were looking for. And so this goes in, grabs them. We get a count of the ones that actually have this. And it's then marks some stuff on their form. So that's pretty much the way you can build yeah, but schedules are great um, because of the flexibility on it. So if it's something that you want ran um, on a weekly basis or even a monthly basis, this is great. Uh, you can set up, uh, you can do pretty much anything within the function that you want to do. And then once it is set, then unless you uh, have changes to make, it will run based on your the frequency. Right now we have this one turned off. If we wanted it to make sure it was running, we would actually activate it now. But schedules are great. Um, they're automatically triggered and use the functions. And there's a world of possibilities that you can use them for. Like I said, very easy to build. Here you would give the name, uh, the function if you did not have one. Um, already built. Like I said, you could go ahead and build one. Let's just say test schedule. And then you would be able to go in and build your function. Once you're done, you would save, come back. So let's just say we're going to grab from an existing one. We're going to use that. And let's say we wanted it to start today. And we want it to run at close of business day. So five. And let's just say we want it um, every week. And we have no stopping. We want it to run all the time um, until we don't need it anymore. And then we can go in and turn it off. That is pretty much it on schedules. Super easy, fun to put together, 
and very useful, especially when it comes for reporting issues or um, keeping track of different things. Um, you can even have it set up to where it sends a email um, to say, hey, maybe this is how many leads were created uh, this week, or this is how many meetings you had. There's there's a world of possibilities. And it also, when, once it runs, it shows you here the last time it ran and when your next one is scheduled. And that's it for schedules. Feel free to uh, check out our website at zcrmhelp.com for Cornerstone Solutions for all of your Zoho needs. And check out more videos on our YouTube page as well. Have a great one. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like it and leave us a comment. You can also subscribe to our channel and click the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of new videos. If you want to learn more about Zoho or would like help with anything Zoho related, head on over to our website at zcrmhelp.com to connect with us. Thanks for watching.